Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Norm's Friends. I'm David B., the readings guy, 603, oh no, 404, uh -oh. <laughs> 9338, already, 9338, biffin at yahoo.com. Contact me for whatever. Obviously, as you can see, I have a wonderful, fantastic guest today. We'll let him introduce himself, then we'll come back to me, because naturally we have our fun facts today and our famous quote. Take it away, Anthony. <laughs> yeah. Tell us all about yourself. I am a local artist. I have been in this city for, gosh, about 20, 20 some years. Uh, I support art, and I have my own show here, and I hope you people can tune in and watch Art Expressions. And that's about it. That and I'm beginning to hate winter. And it's not even here yet. Come on, how can you hate winter? <laughs> well, I think of the snow I have to move, how early I have to get up. Where I live, it's housing. They honk the horn at 6 o'clock. They you don't clear the snow. You have to clear the you snow. You have to move your car before they can clear it. Well, me too, but, you know. And you got to clean the snow off your car so you can see where you're going. Well, that's true. Because you got true. 10 people going beep, 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 you know. Where I live, it's the same thing. So, and of course, where I live, it, you know, you got to be 62 or over. So, mm -hmm. imagine that. And then, you know, the, the lazy people. Well, I've got people live that are in their 80s. Uh -huh. One woman. And she's going to make a complaint about it and see what they can do about it and come a little later because when you're 80 years old you're not going to jump out of bed like you're a 20 year old kid you don't no uh -huh. i'm 72 and I, I i can see it coming really oh uh, come on well i'm not in that bad of shape but it's yeah. just the idea i i look at other people and oh other people i know where i live too it's like you know yeah. i'm old but they're like they're old yeah, like you're, what, 69? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so, Anthony, want to hear some fun facts today? Yeah. As long, along with everyone else, welcome to the show today, everyone. Thanks for tuning in today. The fun facts, and I bet you didn't know these either. Today, our fun facts are about cacti. So, we all know what they are, right? All right, get this. I bet you didn't know this. Neither did you. Are you ready? Some cacti can live up to 200 years. What do you think of that? All right. And get this. Some types of cacti can survive up to two years without water. Imagine not having a drink in two years. Talk about being parched. All right. And then the saguaro cactus. I think that's how you say it, S-A-G-U-A-R-O. I think it's the ones, you know, like this, with the that look like trees, sort of, you know. Yeah, three, one up the center and two on the side. Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, they, they may, they're the, may be the slowest grower ever, taking up to 10 years to grow one and a half inches, yet it eventually can grow to be 80 feet tall. Imagine. Oh, wow. Yeah. That'd be something to see. I was going to add, uh, I saw a thing on Facebook where this scientist, this lady, yeah, she dived in and she plays with sharks. What happened to her was one time, because she said she's always said something about sharks, that she was fascinated with them. Mm -hmm. Come to find out they can live up to anywhere from 300 to 500 years old. Wow. And that whales can live just about the same. Really? And wow. why they do that. But this lady, this doctor, she was also a professional photographer. Yeah. It amazed me because she's down there in this 10-foot shark. It's got a hook hanging on the side of its mouth, and it's in pain, she thinks, because it's a big hook from the ocean. Yeah. yeah. And... She decides to put her hand down and pull it out, and she did, and the shark didn't attack her, bite her, or anything. She got the hook out. The shark takes off, and about 15 or 20 of them come up, all had fish hooks on the side of their mouth. Wow. 
I watched this thing for about 20 minutes. I just couldn't believe it. I thought, you know, it's got to be fake or something. Yeah. She ends up taking the hooks out of all the sharks' mouths. She collected them all and brought them wow. back out. But she said people have got to realize that the ocean is polluted, it's getting worse, and it amazes me that two-thirds of the ocean covers this planet and it's polluted? Yeah. How can that be? And that they're, they're killing animals and they need sharks, just like they need every fish in the ocean, she said, has a job. And if we start playing with it and polluting it, where are we going to be as far as food in another 10 years? There's something to think about. That's why I, tuna fish, I used to love grilled tuna fish sandwiches with cheese. But since I read, only eat no more than three cans of tuna fish a month. Uh-oh. Because of the pollution. No, right. You know what it is now? I thought it was lead poisoning. That. the food chain. Everything. It's it's incredible. But she's, they say now only eat one. So... Wow, I, don't I love eat. tuna. I do too, but after reading that, right? Well, I, I, I just, you know, I mean, we talk about pollution and we talk about recycling, but but the United States does it, China does, they all do it. They dump in the middle of the ocean, thinking, well, it'll be taken care of, while well, it's catching up with us. Well, all this stuff is make believe. It's just to keep in control. But let me finish my. I have a few more things to talk. About. I have what? I have two more uh, fun facts about cacti. Okay. Get this. The spines, you know, the little spines on the, on the cactus provide shade from the desert sun. Without the shade, the desert sun would dry out all the moisture from the plant, and they wouldn't be able to survive. Imagine those little uh, things. The, yeah, they stick you. Yeah. Right. And then f finally... This one is, this one's kind of cute. Did you know cacti are musical? <laughs> what band are they in? Wait, cacti are musical, are you ready? <laughs> the largest specimens were previously, the, the you know the needles they mm -hmm. have? The largest specimens were previously used as gramophone needles. <laughs> wow. On record players? Yeah. Imagine. That's pretty sharp. Isn't it? It's yeah. pretty cool, too, huh? Wow. And my quote for the day, my quote for the day, it just happened to hit me just right today, so here it is. If you're going through hell, keep going. What do you think of that one? You don't want to <laughs> vacation there. Right. If you're going through hell, keep going. Winston mm -hmm. Churchill. Whoa. See? Yeah. So there you have it. And he was a big help to yep. Britain in the Second World War. So here's, I have a few, you know, everybody says, and I'm not bashing anyone, but I just have questions about the election, all right? Yes. So, You're one of them deniers, huh? No, I know. That's what, speaking of uh, election deniers, the Democrats just voted as their leader. Hold on, I'll tell you the name. Uh, an, an election denier, but it's all right for them to deny elections. It's like Stacey Abrams, too, but <coughs> I'll tell you the name. Hold <coughs> on. And it's, I know, this is from Breitbart, even though I know I know they lie. They're fake news. Are they Breitbart? No different than, um, what's what's their name? CNN, CNN. MSNBC, yeah. ABC, Breitbart is NBC, too, huh? CBS. Uh, yeah, that's what they <coughs> told me. They lie. Wow. Now, maybe they do because I don't see the story now. I just read it here. How do you pronounce it? What? Breitbart? Breitbart. Breitbart, yeah. Well, now so let's I look know for that. the big orange B. Um, let me see. Well, where did it go? Imagine now it's gone. See, they're making a liar out of me. I forget the guy's name, Jakeem something. Sure. I'm not kidding, but the, the Democrats voted for him to be the next leader, so I guess Nancy is out. And is it a Republican they got in there? Well, no, he's still head of the Democrats. We got, he's not the speaker, he's just... 
head of the, the DNC. No, not even. No, just the House, the Democrat the House. House. Oh, take her place until January. No, after after the new House, he's the, like the minority leader, but he's a he's oh, an election denier. Oh, minority leader. Okay. Yeah, he's an election denier. Jakeem. Oh, election denier. Hakeem Jeffries, elected House Dem leader. Yeah. So well, he but, won't stay in power too long. Well, because January. Uh, in the uh, House, uh, Republicans have House control of the House now. Right, but he can, yeah, but if the Democrats vote for the, him to be their leader, he's the, their well, leader. Yeah, but, yeah. It's just like, what's his name? McCarthy's now the leader of the Republicans, and they're the minority. So yeah. there you go. But um, questions I have, let me take a sip of water. Of course, there's still some House races. I love it. There's still some House races out in California more than three weeks after the election that still haven't been called. And this is <laughs> my question. Why is it the races that are too close to call and every race that is too close to be too close to call, every single race, the Republican has a slight lead? I don't know. Why is it? Because they got to find ballots that they can fill out for Democrat votes. Just like in Arizona, what's her name? Carrie Lake was kicking the crap out of out of Hobbs. Yeah. And what happened? Then they had a, they stopped the voting again. Then they stopped the voting again. Now they got to have another vote, right? No, but they stopped <laughs> the voting and they found ballots and the, and the Democrat oh. won, who happens just happened to be the Secretary of State at the same time. Yeah. Tell me that's not a conflict of interest. Yeah. So. Which That's a shame. It's all it a shame. Is. This is America, but it's slowly turning into it. I, I wonder what happened to the energy lady. She didn't call me last week. Oh, of course, we were on Monday. I hope you're all right, energy lady. She's usually called by now. Maybe she's on vacation somewhere, but who knows? Well, she could have taken a ride in a saucer. You never know. Well, that's true. Anyway, <coughs> uh, she's just zoomed out with her because she's so loaded with positive energy. So, which she brings is. me to my, I'll, I'll already call the race for everybody. The runoff down in Georgia, Warnock, the Democrat, and Walker, the Republican. Warnock is going to win because you'll see if he's leading on Tuesday evening, it's not going to be too close to call. They're going to call it for him. If Walker is leading the race Tuesday evening, you can bet it's going to be too close to call. Mark my, my words. Anybody want to call in? I'll make a bet. I'll take it. I'll take you out for dinner wherever you want to go locally. I'll make a bet with you. <laughs> Warnock will win. Warnock will win. You'll see. If he's winning when the polls close, if he's got a slight edge, he won. If Walker's got a slight edge, too close to call. Mark my words. Yeah. Because they go. If, Natural, and that's the way they are. It happened in Arizona everywhere. When the Republicans have the slight edge, they stop counting, cameras go out, ballot yeah. machines stop registering. And that's what gets me. I don't care what side of the fence you're on. And people, ju people accept this. You know? It's hard. It is. But, you know, if it was going the, <coughs> for the Republicans, you can, you can bet all these people would be screaming, demanding answers, and talking right. about... A, all these uh, election inequities. I wish that the independent party would gain more strength. They've kind of, uh, especially in New Hampshire, they're just kind of non-existent. Uh, once in a while you'll see an independent candidate, but you get kind of yeah. tired of the two-party system, so maybe the independents right. can uh, help bring us together. And. What, now, the next thing I want to talk about, which a lot of people don't even know about, I didn't either until I read about it, and I forget what uh, site I read this on, but it's Agenda 21. It goes back to uh, this international, what do they call them, treaties that were signed. It was signed in Brazil in 1992. What was his name? Grandpa Bush signed it. What's his name? George, George Her Herbert Walker. Herbert Walker. He's the one who signed it. And it was signed by 120 nations. They were all in on it. 
and back then, so it's, we're, going, we're talking 30 years ago, and it's talking about, you know, they're using the, the climate, they used to climb it as a joke, and then you got all these, this is what cracks me up. And who bought into climate action? What they don't, it's not climate action, it's, <coughs> it's control action is what it is. Mm -hmm. And it's, this is going back 30 years, and it talks about controlling, stop by controlling, the energy and once you can control the energy then you can control uh then you can control people's food and you can control what they eat and you can control where they can go and where mm -hmm. they can't go and it just goes on with the and, and look at what the, these idiots are fighting for these this climate action people or the green new deal they don't even have a clue some of them do because they think they're going to be the leader which you know i laugh like anything that's that's how stupid they are I mean, I just can't believe how dumb people are. It's just like the last, the, the midterms here, all these, I can't believe this many people voted to have their uh, liberties taken away from them. I just don't believe it. And they got, the, speaking of idiots and dummies, probably, of course, New Hampshire's getting just as bad as Mass., they two people running for secretary of state, naturally a Democrat and a Republican. The, it's the uh, secretary of state, the guy who's already there. He's he's running. I hope he gets it. Hopefully, because they do have a slight uh, up edge on the Republicans. Do have a slight uh, majority with the Senate and the, the state Senate and the, the state House. Yeah. But the Democrat, naturally, what she wants, she's from Nashua, I think. She wants voting uh, made more accessible and more easy to everyone. I right. love it. Like Massachusetts, so they can cheat, and I don't care what you say, prove me wrong. She wants online registration. You can go on any computer, no ID, no nothing. You could be... It's not going to work. You can be in Portugal and, and sign into New Hampshire and say, I want to vote, and you're registered. I mean, come on. I know. And, and people just sit back and, and don't, you know, they don't question anything, but that's how well programmed they are. Anyway, so much for that. Well, you get everybody on the computer, and I know that that's, <clears throat> that's here. And it's going to be even far, more far-reaching in, in the future. Computers, are, you'll be... Everybody's be computer. I believe that pretty soon there will be a cashless society, which they've been working on for a long time. Trilateral commission, Anthony. Exactly. And what's going to happen is that uh, there's going to be a sudden change. No more cash. And you've got 87,000 IRS agents that are say that they're, they're going to go around and get people that are cheating. Right. I don't know how they're going to judge this by looking at somebody's savings account but they're going to judge it by will say like because i subscribe to fox nation mm -hmm. so they do all they're going to do is they're going to if you overlook uh, uh we'll say five dollars in interest or something they're yeah. going to fine you five thousand dollars that's that's what it is that's what they're yeah. going to do they it's got nothing to do with <coughs> being equal and just it's got yeah. It's it's uh, weaponizing the IRS to uh, silence and tr oppress the people that don't agree with this uh, new policy. world order. One hundred percent. If you question it, go after them. If if you you know you might have a different opinion of it, go after them. Mm -hmm. If you uh, want to keep your freedoms, go after them. And this is but this is what gets me. I th you know people that make this, um, you know, I'm pro-American, so I'm not anti-this or anti-Democrat, anti-Republican, I'm pro-American. But here's what, you know, they want to do for voting, right, online voting, I, I just show up. You want to vote, oh, just show up, just say you want to vote, we'll yeah. give you a ballot. But this is what gets me, but yeah, that's, so, you know, because you have a right to vote, well, why is it to exercise your Second Amendment right to own a gun? Right. You have to, why can't you just buy a gun online and make it as easy as voting? It's your right. 
Why, why isn't that? Why can't you, you know, you, they make you like in mass. I know I had to take two, well, in Lowell, mass you have to take, I forget how many hours the class was, but because I lived in Lowell when I got out, I had to take extra. Yeah. Right? Why can't, why do I have to take any classes at all? I want to come. Why can't I just, if they want, you know, for these pro, you know, what does everybody say? Oh, because, but it's your right to vote. It's your right to vote. Well, how come they're not like that when it's my right to own a gun? Right. My right to bear arms. All of a sudden, it's different. I know. It's, right now, I think that a lot of people, myself included, we're all in the middle of a vortex of confusion. Every day something new comes out and it's the same old, same old. It just, uh, like with the election and, and what happened, and say January the 6th, there's a lot of things there that are blown way out of proportion. We're not being told the truth. And sometimes the truth sneaks out. Somebody says, well, I, I've got to say this regardless of what happens. So your people are afraid to speak out because people can be destroyed economically. If you don't, like you said, if you don't agree right. with this, and these big corporations, people forget, they are considered human beings now. I've read the first two pages of that amendment, and it's right there in front of you. They are considered entities. They have more power now than they have ever had. That's why you see these corporations like CNN, MSNBC, ABC, they, they get away with murder. They can sit there and tell you anything. Right. And you believe it. And right. And it, I mean, talk about uh, interfering with the elections, all of them, ABC, NBC, CBS, MSNBC, uh, CNN, right? And even Fox. Fox well, they is getting that way. Well, they lead, you know, they lead, they lean to the right, but in the meantime, the difference, Fox will have, they invite people on from both sides of the fence. Right. All the other ones won't right. invite a conservative on. Yeah. They will not. That's, at least I give credit to Fox, they'll invite a pro and con, whether they take them up in their offer or not. It was just like, but how many hundreds of times did uh, Sean Hannity invite Adam Schiff on. Yeah. He would not go on. I don't know yeah. why. Oh, he he's uh, he's another one of that you should just get rid of. Him. To me, they're they're useless. Well, he's getting. I guess they're throwing him off the intelligence committee. Well, good he, because he doesn't control. have any intelligence. Well, that's sorry cool. about that, Shiffy Poo, but that's the way I feel. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I look at some of these people. I mean, it's like, are we ever going to find out the truth about what happened to Pelosi's husband? I mean, they keep changing no. the story, and, this, and you know, they add this to the story, take that out of the story. Every day that's, that's put up there. Are we going to find out the truth? Uh, according, right. according to the police, when they got there, Pelosi opened up the door and didn't start pointing fingers at anybody, but he said that Mr. Pelosi went right back to the guy that was in the kitchen. This, uh -huh. Yeah. So what's going on there? Did the police see him hit Pelosi? Uh, wh what was going on there? I think they were all on acid because nobody seems to know. Oh, phone too, plus I got a message. Good afternoon, welcome to Norm's Friends. How are you today? I'm fine, sir. How are you? I'm, uh. I'm very well, Mr. Whoopi. What's going on? Hey, where's the big ball today? I have a guest today. I never bring, I never have the crystal ball when I have a guest. Oh, right. he's not your co-host tonight? No, he's my guest. He's my guest. Oh. Why? Well, you, we could call him if it'll make you feel better. He's my, I have a co-host today. <laughs> okay. Uh, a, couple of, a couple of things. Yes. Anthony, I seen your show the other day with the young man that did those facial paintings. Right. He is fantastic. What happened? Did you drop the phone? No, I'm still here. Oh. <laughs> what did you think of him? <laughs> I think they're very, very nice. He has a lot of talent. Yes, he does. 
He's uh, he was living in Kenya, and he told me what's going on over there. It's like living in a police state. So his family got out. He said, I think two six two fifteen or two sixteen. So he's uh, he's just very talented, very intelligent. Uh, I loved his work. In fact, I'm gonna yeah. con- connect him with other artists and a gallery that just opened up. Just to keep him going, because you got that much talent, you know, you've got to get it out to the public. Oh. Oh, very good. Hey, how was your well, thing? How about a nice, how about a nice little reading tonight? All right, I'm doing two card readings today, so let's see what they say. Okay, <laughs> that'd be nice. Well, we'll see what happens. Sometimes they are, sometimes they're not so nice. The first card, all right. Uh Uh-oh. Well, this one's a nice one. All right? Look at it. Yeah. It's the first one. We have have the six of pentacles. And as you can see, so this is you, right? You see a guy there, he's nice. He's got a lot of strength. He's strong. He's bold. He... Right, and as you can see, there's two people nailing down there, and there's the, the scale of justice there. And what is he doing? He, you know, he's he's holding the scale of justice over one and the other one that sort of is a, a little uh, lower. What is he doing? He's helping the, the other one, and that's you. So it, you know, you sort of give credit where credit is due. If somebody needs a little a little more credit, shall we say, a little more support, you're right there to give it for them. And as you do look at this, it's it's as you know, it's true what they say. The, the rewards that come back and the happiness and all the karma that returns for doing that <clears throat> is immeasurable. You have you sort of like transform you everything is more loving and it grows and it it's just everything is so uh more sort of you know opens up for you and just you would just attract all this goodness without really having to try so that's what's coming up for you. You'll see there'll be somebody there, or I'll admit, perhaps you, I'm sure you do it on a constant basis, but keep it up and you'll notice am- amazement heading your way in no time at all. So there you have it, two card reading, Mr. Whoopi. Hey, by the way, I was at the uh, gym the other day, and who did I see on the view? Yours truly. She could uh, survive the COVID? Yeah, quickly, I guess. Quickly, but oh well. Oh well. Hey, how was your Thanksgiving? How was your Thanksgiving? It was very, very good. Good. Very, very quiet and everything. Good. Nice, nice to hear it. Oh. So. Hey, how'd you, how'd you do uh, up in uh, the casino in Maine? I broke even. I broke even. I was up there for about four hours. I was doing slots. And I knew I was down. I was probably down, I don't know, 40 bucks, 50 bucks, not a lot. I don't bet heavy. Anyway, and I, this is my routine. Then when I've had enough of the slots, up or down, I always take out a 20 and play roulette. So uh-huh. I was playing roulette, and I was winning and then I lost it was two or three what do they call it rolls two or three rolls not rolls but you know the numbers I lost I lost three hands in a row so I I said I cashed in and when I cashed in the chips I was even my hundred bucks I right when I go I never you know my limits are hundred (laughs) bucks so but I have fun so that's you know I don't like you know, I paid I paid penny slots to start, you know, and then if I do good, then I'll splurge. I'll do nickels and sometimes quarters. <laughs> but yeah. So did you stay overnight? No, I left early in the morning, 
and you know I'm I'm like a little kid I like it I make a whole day of it I left about I don't know nine or ten whatever time it was and it's about two hours to get up there then I get up there and then I had you know I get there I do some slots I got a little bite to eat then I do some more play and then on the way back all the time I stop I may I detour to Portland and have dinner <laughs> So it was good. I had a good day. Yeah, and I got back about, I don't know, 8, 8.30. No, 9 o'clock I got back. I got back at 9 at night. So like a 12-hour jaunt, which is, you know, good. And so. your cat missed you the whole time you were gone. Hey, he'll, he'll miss me just coming here by the time. Yeah, <laughs> natural. You know how he is. Then, yeah. Well, yeah. His, his cat gets jealous because Dave's talking to his cock guy. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you said you said last a uh, couple of weeks. What? What? The cat. Yeah. Your cat says the scent that they leave on people are in their face and on their tail. Right. Yeah. Imagine, and even their paws leave their scent. How's that? Well, the set is located a little below the tail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got to leave on that one. All right, I know. Yeah, Stand in right. the corner and say two Hail Marys on that one. <laughs> <I know. laughs> All right. <laughs> thanks, <laughs> for, thanks for calling. <laughs> have a good one. <laughs> See you. Bye-bye. <laughs> I must have heard that 100,000 times when I went to school. Anthony, right. get up here. All you right, now, so while I'm doing it before, Gina wants, would like a reading. I, I got this message from Scott. So let me do, I'm doing two card readings. Let's see. For Gina, and before I even cut, pull the cards for you, Gina, I'm, uh -oh. well, let's see. G-I-R-S. Good afternoon. Welcome to Norm's Friends. How are you today? This uh, is energy, energy lady. lady. <laughs> Hi, Anthony and Dave. How are you, energy lady? I'm, I'm wonderful. Glad to hear it. I was a little concerned. I mean, look at how late it is. It's like I thought something, you know, you might have well, been we on. Could, I couldn't get through. Get. I don't know what happened. I kept getting a busy signal. Because I'm popular. <laughs> no. I guess so. Wow. Are you sure you were dialing the right number? Because you're usually of through course. right away. I know this number by heart. <laughs> yeah, but how come you got a busy signal then? I don't know. You probably didn't want to talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I missed you last week. Yeah, I know. I forgot all about it. Ah, uh, yeah. You had your big ball on TV. Did, did by you... the time I got to it, you were gone. Yeah, well, we were on Monday, so, but did you see it? I love it. It's Big. I th when you got in the middle of that ball, because it looks cloudy. <laughs> well, Bubble gum. No, there's imperfections in it, so it's sort of, I guess, the way all these lights, you know, you got lights hitting from every direction here, so. Yeah? But foggy enough. It's not, like looking through clouds. Well, well, even still, so then you get looking through clouds, so you even get a better reading, because if you can see all that stuff through clouds, right? That means it's really meant yeah, to happen. Yeah, before it rains. Well, it means it's really meant to happen. <laughs> All right, so I'm... Uh, can you give me a reading? I can give you a reading. Two, I'm doing two card readings today. All right? Oh. Well, okay. You know, to change it up, to change it up. Plus, I have a guest today, so, you know, we got to get... I know. He's got to get some air time. Uh, uh. Of course, of course. Anthony does beautiful work. And by the way, that reading you did last time with me, I forgot what it was. Then after that, I, you know, I remembered. And well, it was true about talking about a ring and different things. Really? It goes way back when. Wow, see, I forget when I do the readings, I really don't remember. You know, I remember some things, but I sort of get, I get sucked right into it, so I don't really remember everything. But... Here we go, typical for the energy lady. The first card we have is the star. 
and as you, as you can see it, it's somebody's down down there. They're nude, by the way. They're nude, but that's just to show that you know you're not a you're very sort of comfortable and feeling good about who you are. You make no bones about who you are. You're not afraid to sort of let people know the real you, which is good. And you, and as you can see, there's the water's going, coming up, pouring water into the little pond, also on the water. So if that's the hole, we'll say circuit with nice emotions. When it comes to emotions, you can adapt from hot to cold in an instant that's a but we know that about you see because that's all sort of you're so positive and well-rounded and intuitive that this all comes natural for you and right and when you keep so keep doing that and because then we come to the uh, eight of pentacles which of course here we are again you know so you're gonna you got some work ahead of you but it's really nothing because you start with the star, so it's, you know, everything is so easily sort of attainable with you. But, you know, so, but you have, I, I'm going to, you have a little bit of work here, but it's not a lot of work. I know it's the seven of pentacles. Of course, seven is a lucky number. I don't know why. So, but we'll say it's a lucky number, right? Seven. I have a lot of sevens around me. So, I do. <laughs> so what? <laughs> he's looking. He's Anthony's looking around me, looking for the sevens. So, <laughs> but anyway, so oh, the it's, seventh day you rest, don't you? Well, that's true. In the seven days in a week, and right. Um, but so you do have a little bit of work coming up, but it's not a lot of work. And you know, when it comes to the little bit of work that you have to do, you'll see. Like I said, it's not a lot of work and you get right to it when it's work, no, regardless if it's the amount of uh, energy needed to complete the task, you know, it's boom, you do it, you do it right there. So just so you know, so something's gonna come up that's gonna require just a little bit of footwork on your, on your part. So there you have uh -huh. it, there you have it, so. Yeah. What do you mean that I'm talking to somebody in the nude? <laughs> no, well, the star, I didn't say you were talking to somebody in the nude, but, you know. Oh. <laughs> I, well, I don't know. I, you don't, I just don't get any pervy vibrations from you, so. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. You're funny. <laughs> but, I know, I talk to a lot of people, but I don't know if they're in the nude. <laughs> right, right, but. You know, when I said that, I meant to say that, you know, you're, you know, you're not afraid to put yourself out there in vulnerable positions because that's how secure you are with your inner self. Right. So, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, see, you do. I know it's you so would. It's so funny. <laughs> I get a big kick out of different things. Right. And so, I'm always joking with someone. Well, good. That, hey. The way I look at it, energy lady, if you don't have a sense of humor, why bother? That's how I yeah. am. And I've got I'm right to the point. That's <laughs> good for you. That's right. That's a fantastic quality. It's a fantastic oh, thank quality. You. There you Hey, did you have a fun Thanksgiving, by the way? Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> and everything from soup to nuts. Very good. Very good. I cannot complain. Excellent. How's the skunk, by the way? Has the skunk been coming around? I haven't seen the skunk. Yeah, but have you smelled them? Yeah. Well, <laughs> he's still around. Why? Right. <laughs> right. Well, that's, he's still around then. He'll be coming around again tonight or tomorrow night for sure. Because of the weather being warm. Is that what it? No, I just, I don't know why. I'm just, he's going to be, he'll, you'll see. No, they usually say when you smell the skunk and stuff like that, that means warm weather coming. <laughs> well, the storm. yeah, but well, what about when you smell them in the summer, on a summer night when it's like 94 degrees out? I mean, the warm weather's already here. So. Well, they're because they're, they're mating. They mate. Yeah, but they they don't spray when they mate. They don't spray that way when they mate. They well, if they're getting interrupted, they do. <laughs> well, that's true. <laughs> 
You should set that skunk down and have a good talk with him. (laughs) Say, don't come in my yard no more. (laughs) All right, I'm leaving that one alone. Even bears run run from skunks. (laughs) No animal can stand it. You You did. You did. All right. That's the energy lady for you. She's going to send you a dozen skunk cookies. (laughs) She's fantastic. I have a crystal ball all made out of diamonds. Wow. It's beautiful. How many, how big is this crystal ball? Mm, A little smaller than a grapefruit. Cut it out. And it's clear. It's very clear, the diamonds. Well, how can it, if it's diamond... How many diamonds is this? I don't know. It's all like diamond shaped, like like cogs. Oh, so it's one big crystal, but it's it's. Yeah. I know yeah. what you mean. It's cut. It's cut, right? Like. Right. It's and, not cut. It's not cut. It, it's in such a. It's smooth, <laughs> but it has no ridges or anything like that. It's perfectly round. Yeah. But it's a smooth diamond, like. Cut. It's not cut, but it's a smooth diamond look. Wow, is it the Hope Diamond? <laughs> I don't know. Wow, isn't it? I know, when the light hits it, it sparkles. Really? Nice. Yes, it's beautiful. I love it. And plus, I have a stand that goes with it. It's all made out of pewter with turtles going around. Really? Wow. Well, there you go. To me, that feels lucky. <laughs> they, that's what it is, yeah. what, what it means to you. So, see, it's yeah. nice with the turtles. So... When you give a reading, or even if you just look in it into the crystal ball for yourself, just right with so the turtles, just take your time. Yeah. Right? You got to have patience with you. it. Exactly. You have to have patience. And that's what happens. It's all pure, though. It's pure. Nice. There's not one mark in it that's out of place. Wow. Well, I have one at home like that, but. You know, when you're doing readings like this, uh, if when I go out to do readings, because, you know, people pay you, they're paying you for the time. So, like the one I got home, I can gaze at it for 20 minutes, sometimes 30 minutes before it's, you know, things start to develop. So, I have a small, small, real small uh, crystal ball. Yeah. And it's clear also. And you can use it as a pendant. Oh, I think I, I know the kind that you mean. That one. That one, when the light hits it, it gets like a prism, right? That's another one. Nice. That's that's a different type. You should come on the show. I'm into crystals myself, you know. I think you mentioned that before, but you should come on the show. No, I like to be behind the scenes. (laughs) I have more fun that way. Well, that's true. That way I can come in a break. You work for the FBI? Oh, no. I don't need the FBI. I am the FBI. (laughs) (laughs) Wow, with the crystal ball. I mean, you know, they should call us. We could help them out a lot. But they don't realize it. You're not kidding. I know. Listen, I'm going to let you go because I got a message here. Poor Gina. She's been waiting for a reading. Okay, all right. I'll let you go so you're going to get a chance to do her reading. Yes, and thanks. Nice talking to you. God bless and everything. Andy, keep up that beautiful work, Anthony. And that guest you had was gorgeous. Perfect, beautiful, beautiful work. Thank you. All right. Thanks. All right. Thanks for calling. Thanks. Bye. There you go. So before we get any further, let me give Gina a two-card reading. Because she's waiting patiently. She hasn't complained. So, once I pull the first card, if anybody calls, they're going to have to wait. Because I can only do one reading at a time. All right. Gina, Gina, Gina. You got two fantastic cards here, Gina. I could see, first of all, we have the Knight of Swords, all right? Swords are, you know, your thoughts, you got to make decision, that type of thing, what's on your mind. As you can see with the Knight of Swords, there's lots of action here. We're talking movement, all right? Also, he's the knight. He's naturally the knight in shining armor, as you could see. He's got his armor on. 
So what, don't be afraid to make the decision. I, you know, you can feel it coming. You know you have a decision to make. It's simple. Just, you know, tell yourself that's it. Make the decision. That's it. it it's easier than you think. It's going to take you further than you think. It's going to be, because of the next card, it's going to be, you're just going to be so pleased with yourself when you make the decision. And I'm, I'm sort of feeling that you, you have an anxiety about this and, you know, sort of you're apprehensive, but don't be. That's what I'm feeling about it. Make the decision because once you make the decision, look at it. You have the Ten of Cups. It's a rainbow in the act. And the cups, it's emotions and, you know, that type of thing. So once you get that over, look at it and you can you see all the people. Everybody there is in a, jumping for joy. They're in a really good mood. So, again... Make the decision, you know, you know, don't be afraid to make the decision. Throw that anxiety out the window. Throw that ambiguity out the window. There's no reason for it. The sooner you make the decision, the sooner you're going to be in that fantastic spot of jumping for joy with all loved ones, your support system, whatever you want to call them. They're all going to be around you partaking in the uh, festivities and the joyous occasion with you. So there you go, Gina. All right? Time for a nice smile. Again, don't be nervous about it. You're going to be just fine. You're even going to be uh, better than expected. All right? So there you have it. Here's that. All right, Anthony, what else is happening? <laughs> Any murals coming? Or is it, do you do not do murals now because of the not season? Not in the wintertime, but I'm booked for next spring already. Wow, good. Well, that's a good yeah. sign. It's a continuation of the mural, I had uh, called in another artist to help me, Debbie Curtin. Yeah. Well, I've worked with her on and off since 2008. And this was a mural that was supposed to be 30 feet long, ended up being like 50 plus feet. So I called in Deb to help me. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's all about Africa. It's uh, got a cheetah, it's got a hippo, it's got African flowers, all the mountain ranges. Well, not all, but some uh -huh. of them. And their flowers are so fantastic. I, and is that mountain in anywhere in it? Uh, I don't yes, know. I forget Mount Kilimanjaro. That's it. <laughs> yeah. That's it. See, I'm starting to, oh, look at this. I'm starting to That's the lose it. <laughs> Good afternoon. Welcome to Norm's Friends. How are you? Not too bad in you. <gasps> Mary, Mary, quite contrary. How are you today? You sound good. But you yeah, pretty good. All right. You sound, I'm sensing a little trouble there for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah, there uh, is. <laughs> See that? And yeah. So, before that, Mary, how was your Thanksgiving? It was good. It was good. That's it? Are you sure? I think you're fibbing. No, it was okay. You know, I didn't go. I was supposed to go to New Bedford, Mass. Oh, see, I knew you were my, disappointed. Uh, but I didn't go because my, my uh, soap and my white one, Yeah. she's really sick. Oh, it's the poor yeah. Sophie. Yeah, that's my white one. Oh, uh, see, I knew something was up. Well, Mary... <sighs> All you can do is comfort her. You have to, you know, that's just comfort her. Yeah, yeah, I, I know she has cancer. Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, that's the eye, because the other one had the same thing, and, yeah. and they can tell by the smell. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, and everything but her. So I, I just, I have to get a hold of the doctor. <clears throat> she was supposed to go last week, but she hides. Uh, but she knows. Yeah, yeah, she's hiding now. And uh, she don't come out until much. She hasn't, usually she comes out well now, yeah, at supper. Yeah. But, uh, she hasn't come out at all. Well, let her be. That's, you know, just let her be. It's, you know, that's yeah. her home, so I'm sure she's well aware. So before I do the reading, it's hard, hard to do the reading now because I'm 
can really feel that. But what's what the who's on your show tomorrow, Mary? Or are we saying? Um, I'm not sure because they haven't got back to me. There was uh, supposed to be a reader coming on tomorrow, but she hasn't got back to me, so I don't know if she's coming on or not. Uh huh. All right. And naturally, I won't make it because somebody asked me, some, a bartender at the arena, we got some private bartending gig down in Lowell yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. So, I'll be doing that. Yeah, hey, that's good. All right, Mary, let's see if I can do a legit reading, because I know what's going on and it's heavy, I can feel it heavy duty. So let's see. Well, all right. Anyway, the first card is the Nine of Pentacles, and the last card is the Fool Mary. So let's just go with, right? You gotta stay in the sort of positive outlook area. All right, both cards, all that yellow is warm. So try to keep yourself surrounded with that, regardless of the hardship that you're going through now, Mary, right? So like I said, the first card is the Nine of Pentacles. So you got a lot of work to do, but the work here is, is mentally, and the work here is, see it, there's, focused right here on the lady so when the work is focused on you and you know we all know what you're going through it's a, it's a, a sort of a very sad and emotional uh, situation that you're going through not a not a up phase I mean all right but so you know as difficult as it sounds try to you know, if you can sort of accept things because it's just, it's the natural sort of progression, shall we say, you know, keep in tune with that and that will lessen the burden somewhat, all right? And w once you start doing that, when you get onto that sort of little sort of, you know, there's nothing I can do about it as, you know, as much as yeah. I want to, blah, blah, blah. 17 years old. Yeah. Oh, you know, and so the next card is the fool. And so, you know, everybody, oh, the fool, the fool, but perhaps maybe in this time, maybe perhaps it's time to act a little foolish now. You know, it's sort of like, and when I say act a little foolish, a little foolish in the sense that, you know, to instead of concentrating, shall we say, on a void, all right, constant, yeah. you know, sort of remember, you know, taking it all, you take it all with you, but you know, and you really can do it, Mary. I know you got to reach. You really have to reach down. As a matter of fact, you ask right here. See it. She, the back to the first card, the Nine of Pentacles. If you can see it, she's holding her hand up, and there's a bird on there. All right, birds. Yeah. Birds. I always say birds are from the higher realm. They're from the spirit realm. All right. Yeah. Again, you're getting. Me, if you sort of can, and I know you're in a difficult spot now, but if you can just sort of sit down and sort of try to just let you, let yourself open up. Don't try to force it or think about it, but just let yourself open up. You'll see you'll be getting support and you'll be getting messages from your spirit, your inner spirit, and there'll be messages of comfort. And that's, you know, with the fool here. So, and when you sort of let all that happen, you know, you'll be able to, again, you know, you, you, take, it, you take, take it all with you and you process it. But, it, you know, at the same time, it's, you know, look at the golden pasture. Yeah. So. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, I know it's. 
I can feel it, Mary. So, you know, that's like I said, the reading was difficult because I, yeah. you know, I know it is, I've been there, so I know. But, you, you know, there's comfort there, you know, you know, and I'm not saying to discount anything, but you know what I mean? For your well-being, you know, yeah. just yeah. Let, let your sort of, let your spirit, let your soul talk to you. Let it, and as opposed to trying to force it, and you'll see it'll make a big difference for you, Mary. Yeah. Oh, yes. Uh, like I said, I do believe in angels. Yeah, so now it's the even a angel. Right, all right, and I'm, I'm, they're around you. I'm certain of it. They are around you. Oh, so, yes. All right. Yeah, I feel the angels. Good. Oh, yeah, I know they're there. All right. Mary, I hate to cut you short, but we only have a couple Alrighty. of minutes left. All right, hang in there, Mary. All righty. Okay. See you tomorrow night. Thanks for calling. Yeah, you're but, welcome. Bye-bye. Uh, that's a, a bummer. Yeah, she loves her cats. Well, I mean, that's me with mine. You should have yeah. seen when I lost, this is years ago. This is like 20 years ago. This kid, his name was Everest. He was all, he was a Turkish cat. He was all white with a blue eye and a green eye. Yeah. But, you know, he was like 15. And I can remember, you could see him deteriorating. It was, yeah. You know, your heart goes out, and then, you know, they're looking at you to like help me, and you can't help them, and that's it makes that really breaks your heart. Well, you they know. age five years to R1. I thought it was six. That's dogs. I thought dogs were seven. That could be. So, so I thought I'm just Fred, saying that it's just like if a human did that, and you were in one year you were five years old, 10 years old, you know, you wouldn't live very long. Well, that's true, I know. But anyway, we don't have a lot of time left. Anthony, again, you can tell them who you are and- Oh, they know who I am. All right, well, look for him around town, beautifying yeah. Manchester. He does a great job, not only beautifying Manchester, but lifting everybody who lives here and sees his work, mm -hmm. touching their soul and lifting them up. So don't forget that. And that's Anthony Williams, the fantastic artist. Mm -hmm. And I lost my thing. Well, I lost my, uh, and I just got it. Anyway, and I'm David B., the readings guy. I don't know what happened to it. What is it? You're looking for it. It's, you know, one of like those bracelets you pull. I, that's what it's I under used your to. chair. Is it? It chair. is. See that? Thank you, Anthony. I told you he was fantastic. Anyway, <laughs> that's five dollars. <laughs> I'm David B., the readings guy. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Anytime, get a hold of me. 603 404 9338. Biffit at yahoo.com. Any questions, comments, you want a reading, let me know. Be happy to do it. And you have any questions about tarot or. Uh, psychic intuitiveness or mediumship, get in touch with me and I'll do my best to answer your questions. Or if you want to learn how to talk to your cacti, get a hold <laughs> of it. That's right. <laughs> That's right. And anyway, as we all know, I hope everybody enjoyed their Halloween. I uh, remember what I said about the election next week. And please remember two things. You can't be dumb if you want to be free. More importantly, you are a winner.